The American M16A1 semi-automatic rifle was originally produced in the late 1950s and by the time the 1960s rolled along, due to being of simple design and very lightweight, it was a weapon of choice for armies throughout the world, including New Zealand, especially in the Vietnam War. If you look closely at the M16 on display, you will notice that it has suffered some battle damage, which leads us to the tragic story of 37404 Captain Peter Williams, who was killed in action in Vietnam on the 14th of February 1967. Peter Williams was a teenager when he joined the Army's Regular Force Cadet School in 1956, and following his training was posted to the Royal New Zealand Artillery as a gunner. Due to his natural ability and strong work ethic, he was commissioned from the ranks, becoming an artillery officer. In late February 1966, Captain Peter Williams began his tour of duty in the Republic of South Vietnam with 161 Battery, which was based at Nui Dat in the Phuc Toi province. The battery's main responsibility was to provide direct artillery support to the Australian infantry, and during the legendary Battle of Long Tan, the 161 battery guns fired over 180 rounds each and assisted the Australians in driving back the North Vietnamese. On the 13th of February 1967, Captain Peter Williams was preparing for the end of his tour in Vietnam. He had packed up most of his kit and like many of the other off-duty members of 161 battery, the plan was to head to the local town of Baria for a rugby match against the Australians. For Captain Williams, this was never to happen. The Australians needed a forward observer for Operation Bomaris, whereby a pro Viet Cong village to the south of Nui Dat was to be searched, as it was both an important Viet Cong supply and recruiting area. Captain Williams borrowed another officer's equipment, including his M16, and went to assist on one last operation. On the morning of the 14th of February 1967, Captain Williams was attending a briefing when a carefully concealed shrapnel mine was detonated. The Australian Company Commander, Major Donald Bourne, his second in command and Captain Peter Williams were killed and five others were wounded. As is military procedure, the rifle and equipment were returned to the New Zealand base and then returned to New Zealand with the kit Captain Williams had packed before one last operation. Cremated, his ashes would return later and be interred at Papatoitoi, Auckland.